What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Thank y'all so much for being here. If you are new here, then definitely welcome to our Virtuous Style family. We're so glad that you're here. And you may think, if you have been around before, you may think, oh my gosh, she's in a different spot. And so yes, I have moved out of my closet for the day and I am actually in our brand new redone office. Um, my husband is actually gone to get a new computer and some new stuff just to kind of help us. We're using this a lot more. Um, and that's one of the reasons I'm here today is to kind of give you guys a life update and share what has been going on in our world because it has been crazy. So let's go ahead and we'll just jump right in from the get go. All right, you guys. So kind of going back, if you know anything about our family, if you've been around before, then you know that my husband was a youth pastor at our church. For probably the past six or seven years he has been our youth pastor we've had two pastors in that time frame the one that very started the church and then we had one who um, was there for about a year and a half two years and last September he was called to another position um, at a different church in a different part of the state and so we were without a pastor and it was just a really rough time not gonna lie to you guys we were both struggling me and my husband just spiritually not really um, in a marriage but I think sometimes when you're both struggling individually it can cause a little bit of a strain there but we were good um, just really praying about kind of where God would have us and what God would have us do in the situations we were in within our church and within our jobs and just all kinds of stuff um, I'm in a great job love mine uh, and everything was going good there and so that's when God laid it on my heart to do the hundred days of brave with Annie F Downs to go through that book and do a daily devotional devotional here on YouTube so I will link that playlist down below um, if you're interested in that because that was something that really um, grew my relationship with God in just crazy ways and then now to look back and kind of see how God has used that is just really cool but in January of this year, 2020, the 2020, um, me and Chris were talking, just having kind of that just husband and wife chat and just getting, you know, just real, raw, kind of emotional. And he's like, babe, I really feel like God has called me to be the pastor and put in to be the pastor of our church. And I'm not going to lie. I did not want that. Um, it was not something I was interested in. It was not something I was just like, mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> like, mm, we know these people, you know, and they know us real well. And um, I don't know, it just, eh, I'm not gonna lie, it didn't excite me. And so, but after praying about it and putting in a lot of prayer and talking with God, I mean, he just was like, yes, this is what I, this is what I'm calling you guys to do is you are going to be the leaders of this church. Chris is going to be the pastor of this church. And so he put in, um, it was not welcomed very receptively by a lot of people, um, at first and there was some hesitancy in the upper leadership of the church and it was discouraging. I'm not going to lie. It was discouraging. And so just a lot more prayer went into it. He did preach the whole month of February at our church and we voted in early March and, uh, the church did by majority majority vote whatever I don't know all that's just I hate the legalistic side of things but the majority he was voted in as pastor on I believe March 8th of 2020 of this year and so then March 15th we were able to meet it was kind of you know COVID was just kind of coming out and about then and so we met on March 15th that Sunday and then the very next Sunday we were literally shut down completely online and have been ever since and it is now the end of may it is today's memorial day so thank you to um the, when you see this it will be uh later in the week um i may get this up today i don't know i'll try but thank you um to all the military families if you've lost a loved one i know this day is for those who have are fallen soldiers and i just I'm, it's a day to honor and to thank them for their service and for everything the ultimate sacrifice just like what jesus died on the cross and so i um, very grateful for that but um it has been a, a a roller coaster just figuring out how to do church online and figuring out how to keep a church connected through social media and email and go from you know your your senior saints all the way down to your nursery and it's just it's it's a it's a crazy time in our world and just with churches but y'all we truly feel that god is just doing some crazy big things um 
just in the church as a whole in general. And we're really excited about just kind of the vision he's given, you know, Chris and given us for our congregation and our church and the mission that he's placed before us. And we're super excited about that. Um, so you're probably like, okay, well, how does that relate to this channel? And um, it does and it doesn't, in a sense. Um, when I was doing the 100 Days to Brave Daily Devo series, I truly felt like God was calling me. I knew he was calling me to women's ministry, and I surrendered to that wholeheartedly. And so when Chris became pastor of our church, I was just like, that's it. I'm, I'm supposed to lead the women of our church and kind of really honed in on that and focused in on that and just let my channel, let this channel um, I'm sorry, but let you guys just kind of fall and and it wasn't an intentional thing It's just kind of what happened. It wasn't my main focus and when you don't put focus on something it doesn't grow and so um, God really convicted me of that and was like You got it wrong Robin. You got it wrong. You need to back up um, Yes, I want you to be involved in the women's ministry of our of that church But that's not where I want your main focus to be. That's not where I want all of your energy to go to I'm, I've got something, you know bigger and just more broad for you and he just really um spoke to me about just showing women in general of all ages just that you can live life and enjoy worldly things but yet still put god first and firm foremost in every single thing that you do and be able to um enjoy like makeup and subscription and lifestyle stuff and health and fitness and wellness and massages and facials and all those different kind of things that as women a lot of us love to do and we just sometimes I think you, it's this fine balance of keeping your relationship with Christ in the forefront but still living life the way he intends for you to live life yes he intends for you to keep him first and foremost but you can still have fun and do fun things and be a woman and enjoy things around you in this world that he's given you. Um, and that's kind of what I want this channel to be about. It's just showing you those things. It was something where it was a real raw emotions kind of deal for me of realizing that I'm a very unhealthy person. And I know you're automatically gonna think, oh, health and fitness, you know, that kind of thing, diet, exercise. That's not it. Like true health and true wellness and true beauty all come together in so many different aspects and it's spiritual health and mental health and social health and physical health and emotional health and all those different things come together to form true health true fit true not fitness true beauty um, one of my favorite Bible verses is Proverbs 31 30 where it says charm is deceitful and beauty is fleeting but a woman who fears the Lord will be praised and so that is putting God first in everything knowing that you know those charm those charming things and those beautiful things and your beauty and all that stuff all that's gonna go away because it's the true beauty that's on the inside and how you feel and being you know having that ability to continue to always put God first in everything that you do and that is just kind of what I want this channel to be about just a women's lifestyle channel um, where you can come and feel good and get a dose of energy and Jesus and I am gonna be working on my physical health um, that is something that is very um, important to me right now just because not for the number on the scale by any means but just I don't feel good I don't feel energetic and to have and do the things that God has called us as a family and us as a church to go and do you know I want to be able to do that without fearing not being physically able if that's a sense um I want to focus on my spiritual health and being in God's Word and really studying it and, you know, forgetting what religion says, but getting into what God's Word says to me and what God speaks to me through His Word and how, you know, because He's going to speak to us individually. I could read a verse and it's going to speak to me one way and you can read a verse that's going to speak to you totally different. That's what is so cool about God's Word. It's alive and He speaks to us through that. And then focusing on my prayer life and really getting that under control and back into more of a, not even a routine, because I don't even want to say routine, but a habit of just being so uh, spiritually fit, I guess, is a way to say it. Of just, you know, just soaking in everything that he's got for me. 
and then taking care of that mental health and just relaxing and laughing and have a good time and I think mental and emotional and social kind of all can go together and just showing you guys different ways that you can do that whether it's going to get a facial or I'm obsessed right now with going to get acupuncture I've never done it I want to do it so bad it kind of freaks me out just a little bit so if you've ever done that drop that in the comments I'd love to like get your take on it but yeah I'm just excited to offer these things to you guys and just to do unboxings of Christian subscription boxes or feel good subscription boxes or therapy you know self-care boxes for women um, I've got a few that are coming in that I'm super excited about you know affordable um, things for your home affordable decor affordable you know ways to you know take this really fancy recipe and cut it down and make it affordable on a you know a, a pastor's budget um, that's what we're looking at here and I'm just really excited about what God's doing and what he's gonna do and I'm so thankful that you guys are here I pray that if this is something you're interested in you will definitely hit that subscribe button click that bell so you'll know anytime I post new videos and new content definitely also go follow me over on Instagram I'm gonna be posting a bunch of stuff there as well I'm um, just kind of more day-to-day -day stuff as opposed I am hoping and planning on doing at least two videos a week for you guys I'm not gonna lie I have no idea right now what days I was thinking Sunday and Thursday and then it didn't happen yesterday y'all I'll be honest I've recorded this video twice before um, totally different day looked totally different sounded totally different in my closet all like my normal setup and it just I don't know God just didn't speak to me and say yes that's it and um, I put more prayer into it and here we are so I'm just excited you guys I'm so excited about what God's gonna do um, and just thrilled to be able to do what he's called me to do and just share that with y'all so I hope you guys have been you know enjoyed this little life update if y'all have any questions or anything if there's anything specific you're curious in um, and you want to know more about or you'd like me to look into getting done a facial a certain kind of massage or something like that um, to let me know because I'm totally up for that um, if you're a business and you want me to review anything for you definitely check, click my email below contact me there um, that feels weird even saying that but I have actually reached out to several companies and I've got some who are gonna send me some stuff to review so I'm really excited about those kind of things um, and just grow this channel for the Lord whatever happens on this channel whatever happens through this channel is completely 100% for his glory not my own and so that is just what I want to definitely keep um, at the forefront of everything we do so I love y'all thank y'all so much for watching this video and definitely again please subscribe share this channel with anybody you want that you know that needs some positive positivity in their life some encouragement and again just thank y'all so much I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see y'all back here again real soon bye y'all